Well, we were quite surprised to have uh, to have won all the opposition seats. So we we said, all right, we have a chance to build something from here, and you know. So we worked hard those four years. Again, circumstances uh, assisted us. Um, I mean, I don't think we would have won the election in 1996 if it hadn't been for all the tobacco and the fast launch activity and all that episode, which is happily now in our past. Uh, uh, you know, I, I don't think the GSLP would have been beatable if it hadn't been uh, for all that at that time. I mean, eventually they would have lost, and eventually I suppose we might have won, but it wouldn't have been at that time. It wouldn't have been in May 1996, almost for certain. There was also, if I remember rightly, an editorial in The Times on Election Day, wasn't there, which advocated change and advocated that the GSD should win. I was shocked. I mean, I've, I've often had this conversation with GSLP members who many of them suspect that I would have known or had something about it. Not only did I not know, but if I had known, I would have... I would have rather not have won office than have won it at the expense of external colonial interference with our political and electoral system. It's shocking that there are people in London thinking that it's legitimate for them to interfere through planting articles of any kind, um, whether they're right or whether they're wrong. Certainly, I think the article was in the Times, and I think the headline was called Rot on the Rock or something mm. completely inappropriate completely uncalled for and really none of the, the UK's business in terms of our electoral process.